Hello, God bless you. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship Church in Brooklyn, New York, and it's time for today's daily devotion and our daily devotion videos. This is where we take a chapter from the Bible. We read it together. The idea is that the Bible's good, it's helpful, it's necessary. We should read it. And to help facilitate that, tools can be helpful. And this is just a tool to help you spend a little time in God's Word each day. We post these videos five days a week. And then they're, they're always available. So you can access them at any time. Um, today we're finishing the Gospel of Luke. Uh, so we've been going through the New Testament. We started with Matthew. All the chapters of Matthew are in a playlist. And we went through Mark. All those videos are in a playlist titled Mark. Now we're finishing Luke. It's the 24th chapter, so this is the 24th video in the Gospel of Luke. And we, last time in Luke chapter 23, we saw Jesus' uh, trial before Pilate. We saw him uh, previously in chapter 22. He had gone before the Jewish council and was convicted in a mock trial and sentenced to die. And then in 23, in our last video, we saw Jesus before the Roman governor because there uh, was a requirement. The Jews needed approval of the Roman authorities to carry out a capital sentence, to, to execute someone, to crucify someone. And Pilate found Jesus innocent, but he feared an uprising. The Jews were insistent uh, they, they said, basically, listen, you're going to have trouble on your hands if you don't comply. And so Jesus' um, Jesus's crucifixion then occurred. And we ended chapter 23, or chapter 23 ended, and uh, as we read, with um, one of the religious leaders who happened to be a kind of a closet follower of Jesus, um, comes and requests Jesus' body and lays it in a tomb nearby that he owned. And so now we conclude Luke's Gospel with chapter 24. Uh, this chapter is 53 verses and uh, begins with the resurrection, then Jesus appearing to his disciples, his apostles, and then his uh, ascension into heaven, it says. But very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb, taking the spices they had prepared, and they found the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. The stone was the door, basically. A large stone had been rolled in front of the door of the tomb, which was basically a cave cut into a rock and served as a door. So they went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. And as they stood there puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them, clothed in dazzling robes. The women were terrified and bowed with their faces to the ground. And then the men asked, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He's risen from the dead. Remember what he told you back in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be betrayed into the hands of sinful men and crucified, and that he would rise again on the third day? Then they remembered that he had said this, so they rushed back from the tomb to tell his eleven disciples and everyone else what had happened. It was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and several other women who told the apostles what had happened. But the story sounded like nonsense to the men, so they didn't believe it. However, Peter jumped up and ran to the tomb to look. Stooping, he peered in and saw the empty linen wrappings, and he went home again wondering what had happened. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. And as they talked and discussed these things, Jesus himself suddenly came and began walking with them. But God kept them from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing so intently as you walk along? And they stopped short, sadness written across their faces. And then one of them, uh, Cleopas, said, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened here in the past few days. What things, Jesus asked. The things that happened to Jesus, the man from Nazareth, they said. 
He was a prophet who did powerful miracles, and he was a powerful teacher in the eyes of God and all the people. But our leading priests and other religious leaders handed him over to be condemned to death, and they crucified him. We hoped he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. This all happened three days ago. Then some women from our group of his followers were at his tomb early this morning, and they came back with an amazing report. They said his body was missing and that they had seen angels who told them Jesus is alive. Some of our men ran out to see, and sure enough, his body was gone, just as the women had said. Then Jesus said to them, You foolish people, you find it so hard to believe that all the prophets wrote in the Scriptures? Wasn't it clearly predicted that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering His glory? Then Jesus took them through the writings of Moses and all the prophets, explaining from all the Scriptures the things concerning Himself. By this time they were nearing Emmaus, and by the end of their journey, they were at the end of their journey, Jesus acted as if He were going on, but they begged Him, Stay the night with us, since it's getting late. So He went home with them, and as they sat down to eat, He took the bread and blessed it. Then he broke it and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And at that moment, he disappeared. They said to each other, Didn't our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? And within the hour, they were on their way back to Jerusalem. There they, uh, there they found the eleven disciples and the others who had gathered with them who said, The Lord has really risen. He appeared to Peter. Then the two from Emmaus told their story of how Jesus had appeared to them as they were walking along the road and how they had recognized him as he was breaking the bread. And just as they were telling about it, Jesus himself was suddenly standing there among them. Peace be with you, he said, but the whole group was startled and frightened, thinking they were seeing a ghost. Why are you frightened, he asked. Why are your hearts filled with doubt? Look at my hands. Look at my feet. You can see that it's really me. Touch me and make sure that I'm not a ghost, because ghosts don't have bodies, as you see that I do. As he spoke, he showed them his hands and his feet. Still they stood there in disbelief, filled with joy and wonder. Then he asked them, Do you have anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of broiled fish, and he ate it as they watched. Then he said, While I was with you before, I told you everything written about me in the Law of Moses and the Prophets and in the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said, Yes, it was written long ago that the Messiah would suffer and die and rise from the dead on the third day. It was also written that this message would be proclaimed in the authority of his name to all the nations. Beginning in Jerusalem, there is forgiveness, for all, uh, forgiveness of sins for all who repent. You are witnesses of these things. And now... I will send the Holy Spirit just as my Father promised, but stay here in the city until the Holy Spirit comes and fills you with power from heaven. Then Jesus led them to Bethany, and lifting his hands to heaven, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up to heaven. So they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem filled with great joy. And they spent all their time in the temple praising God. That concludes Luke chapter 24 and also the Gospel of Luke. Um, if you missed any of the preceding videos in Luke's Gospel, they're here on, uh, on our channel on a playlist. You can access those and view those if you like. I uh, hope that you do. And I uh, hope that you'll join us as we continue this daily devotion series. We'll be starting the Gospel of John next. Thanks so much. God bless.